Hello, I'm Kate Matasik, the University of Tennessee's lead faculty behind our VESTED program for highly successful and collaborative business relationships. Today's VESTED for Success video tutorial series, I'm going to be sharing why I'm so passionate that organizations use version control instead of amendment when they're updating their contracts. So let me explain with a little visual. So I've got a little card here, and let's just call this my contract. So you've worked really hard to get this contract. You think it's perfect. Well, as you know, business happens, and you know, you're gonna have contract changes because that's life. And so along comes change number one. Well, let's say that I'm using amendments. So I've got my amendment, and I've written up my change. Well, I've got my contract. What I'm gonna do is attach my amendment to the back of this contract. Staple it on, uh, contract one, amendment one, right? And so I've got now, so anything I'm changing is in this amendment. Now let's say six months later, you have another contract change. Well, voila, here comes amendment number two. I'm now going to take amendment number two and it's going to be attached to our contract. Now you may not have to do this as a physical stapling onto your contract because today it's all done electronically. But think about it. You're now new to the business. You come on board, you're the new commercial manager and you wanna understand this contract. There's some challenges that are happening and you pick it up. So you read the contract, you're thinking, oh, okay, that's great. And now you have to go read the amendment and then the other amendment, and however many amendments you have. And so it's hard to see what the latest and greatest contract is because it's not integrated. And so a better approach is version control. So version control, you're used to doing this. This is what you do in business all day long, is you have revision you know, 1.1 and 1.2, and if it's significant, it goes to version number two. Some people date them, right? So you may actually have, you know, version as dated as of this date. So it doesn't matter which version control method you use. There's lots of great ones out there, or a few anyway. So go Google search it, go look and see what your best practices are within your organization. But definitely using version control has a benefit that you can um, help your organization always understand what the latest intent for that relationship is. So you take your contract, right? So you've got your contract under version control and now you're redlining it. Let's say that I spelled contract wrong and I had it spelled contract. Well, now I'm just going to update that and it's going to be updated. And so when you pick it up, it'll always be accurate and you'll always see the latest and greatest. Now you might be asking yourself, well, how do I know what the original was? How do I know what those changes are? Well, you should create a change control log. So for every change, make sure you know, document what it is, when it was, who's approved it. And if anyone wants to go back in time, they can always go back to a previous version. So let me give you a little tip sheet here. Let's uh, pull this up. Uh, and so in summary, an amendment is made by physically um, creating an addendum to the contract. And this approach is typically preferred by lawyers. It's easy. It keeps the original contract inta intact. However, you can't just pick up the contract and see the latest version. You have to literally go, okay, this is this version, this is this one. And in version control, when an update's made, the contract is physically updated and the revision number is dated and added. And this is typically preferred by business people. Now the benefits of this is it keeps your contract a living document. It's a playbook. You can pick it up and always see what the latest version is. And if you have great uh, record keeping, you'll keep a log and you'll always have your original. You'll be able to see what's done. But at any point in time, those newbies that are on the, the, um, the contract, you get new people coming in, they can pick it up and they can go, ah, this is what we're doing today. This is what we need to do to keep this contract in compliance. So with that, I hope you've enjoyed today's Vested for Success video tutorial. Uh, reach out with questions if you have any. You can always reach us at vestedfaculty at utk.edu.